guys welcome to my channel I am Paula and today I'll be showing you guys how to make a beef stir fry um, also I will be putting um, rice with red kidneys on the side to eat it with everything that I'm gonna be making it's simple um, you don't really need too much of these seasonings um, also, everything is by, you know, portions. Um, in one part, you're going to see that I am adding these three cups of rice. Why? I sometimes make a little extra. So, for a day after, or a day, the day after that, I have it. I put it, I freeze it, and then I have it with something so I don't have to make any rice. So I make a little extra, freeze it, and then eat it then a day after, or two days after. Um, I don't like leaving my food for more than four days. Um, also, uh, next week I will be showing you guys uh, different types of salads. Um, any green to any type of potatoes, any simple salads that don't really need too much things, only at least three, like three or four things that you can put in it. And not, you don't need to spend so much money. Yes. Um, also, I have dyed my hair last week. It was blue. Lund. Now it's black. I just wanna have something simple where I don't have to put too much things in my hair. I had to go again with uh, try to bleaching it. I uh, had to put a different color on top of it. I just did black for my birthday, anyways, and until I could make up my mind. The hair color does wash out and it's gonna you know it's it's better <laughs> when I wash out then I'll think about it either um brown hair light brown hair color which I really like and it does suit me because of my skin complexion I do not like dyeing my hair too much also or bleaching um even with this straightening I like my hair curly um reasons why because I always have to keep stri sometimes keep straightening my hair unless I wrap it you know and sometimes I forget and I fall asleep with my hair straightened and next morning my hair is like and yeah um nowadays I'm doing different methods to doing my hair like using afoji um two step um it's, it's some liquid you put in your hair leave it on for till your hair gets hard um then you wash it out and then put the conditioner because the protein is so much things in your hair yes long story but in another video i will be showing you guys what i do and also mama needs a haircut yes so stay tuned for the recipe I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Bye. So for the beef stir fry, this is all you're gonna need. Um, I added the two tablespoons of vinegar to my veggies. I always pre-cut my veggies before I make um my food. Next, we're gonna add the garlic and the seasonings. So the two tablespoons are all purpose, um, black pepper and oregano, and also we're gonna eat, add the tablespoon of soy sauce. So next time we're gonna mix it. Um, make sure you mix it all well before you throw it in to cook.
So once your oil is hot, you add the beef. You will have to cook it for at least 15, 10 to 15 minutes until the meat is like cooked. Then afterwards, you will have to add your veggies. So once your beef is cooked like this, you will um, soon add your veggies, um, the tomatoes and the onion to have the vinegar. And you're going to let it cook for five minutes, I would say. But it's up to you how you like your veggies. They could be soft like i made them or they can be a little crunchy but it's all how you like your veggies so once your veggies are cooked like this you would add a fourth of a cup of water just so you could get a little bit of the gravy um, and actually like sometimes some of the seasoning um, just stick like in one place so I add the water and so it spread everywhere now it's time to make the rice with red kidney beans So like I said, I pre-cut my veggies before I make my food. So every time you're going to cook your rice, make sure you wash it. Once the oil is hot and you add your veggies, you will add your seasoning time by time and make sure you move um, your veggies because sometimes seasoning can make them stick like um, the stuff at the bottom. Like I don't know about other people but it happens because of the seasoning it burns. So once your veggies are cooked, you see here I already added the beans. Um, then you mix it for a little, you let it cook. Mix well, make sure you move then the food stir so it don't stick like, like that, like you see at the bottom. So after you cook it for uh, the beans for five minutes, you will add your rice. Then you will add your four cups of water. So once the rice is dried up, make sure you um, um, move it properly so it doesn't stick at the bottom. And you will have to put your uh, temperature to 3 for about 
10 to 15 minutes until your rice pretty much looks like this. So there you have it, the rice with red kidney beans and the beets. And that salad I will be making next week. Um, it is an onion, tomato, and avocado salad. And it has a vinegar dressing. So I hope you guys enjoy the recipe. And I will try my best because I know... Um, I haven't posted anything for over almost close to three weeks, but I will try to keep posting. Um, next week, I will be trying to do the different salads and yeah, whichever recipe gets you, you want to try, you can even try all of them. I have a Dominican salad I'm going to make. I am from Dominican Republic, so I really like my cultural food. I love that. Oh my god, some platano. Oh my god, and salami. Oh, I use oh, some ketchup on the side. Oh. Making me hungry. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. Stay tuned for next week's salads, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.